A clinical trial is a research study that involves volunteers to help answer specific health questions. Clinical trials are the only way we can develop potential new treatments, vaccines, and other ways of preventing or treating health issues. It's important to remember that clinical trials always start with one. One patient who decides to take part, seeking a new potential treatment. One person acting selflessly to make a difference for so many others. One volunteer willing to give hope to so many other ones. And these ones add up. But we must never forget that clinical trials must be inclusive of all types of ones. Ones from every race, age, background, and ancestry. Because unless treatments work for everyone, they work for no one. My name is Melissa Hardman. I've been a researcher about 10 years. I'm the founder of Faces of Research, so I help to improve diversity in clinical trials. Our bodies are different. Your body is different from mine. Everybody else's body is different. So if I'm just looking at one population, I just know for them what works. And so when I take the medicine and it doesn't work for me and we wonder why, it's because we never got the data from me. So now we need the data from everybody. We have to have everyone in the research for it to work. Unfortunately, this work is easier said than done because people from underrepresented communities often don't experience health equity. They have not always been made aware of the opportunities to participate, have been excluded from clinical trials, and have even been mistreated during research. All of these factors have led to a lack of trust and hindered diversity in clinical trials. I'm Francisco Moreno. I'm a professor of psychiatry at the University of Arizona College of Medicine. So in order to break some of those barriers, we could be thinking of what is it that we in the research world can be doing to facilitate and promote and make that participation more attractive and a better value for people. There's also things that we can do by working with the community so that our members actually are open to learn and to change the perception and feel more invited uh, to be part of this. We've acknowledged we need to do better and have taken steps to do so, but we can't do this without you. To ensure diversity in clinical trials, we have to work together as a collective one. Researchers must design studies to be more inclusive. Sponsors and sites need to engage diverse populations to ensure they are represented, and individuals like you are needed to volunteer and provide an important voice in the clinical trial process. Ashley Neely and I was a patient in a clinical trial. So I first le learned about clinical trials during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I was watching a hearing featuring Dr. Fauci and he had mentioned that African Americans need to be involved in clinical trials to produce a vaccine. And that was my first time ever considering being in a clinical trial. So I thought, why not sign up and try to help get out of this pandemic? Well, I've reached millions of people across the world and some people may not have gotten vaccinated unless they saw a familiar face and a trustful face that they could um, hear about their experience. So. I'm really proud of it. My name is Mel Mann. I am a retired Army Major. And in 1995, I was diagnosed with chronic myeloid leukemia. Clinical trials are very important. They saved my life. You know, that was my only option. I was just given the hope that there was something out there. It came from a gleam in some researcher's eye that I didn't even know about. And uh, it worked. And it's worked for hundreds of thousands of other people since me. And 10 months after I started the drug, I was able to run a 26.2 mile marathon in Alaska. In fact, uh, I'm the longest living person in the world on the drug. It's been 27 years. Volunteering for a clinical trial can help you, your loved ones, your community, and even future generations. We encourage you to learn more about clinical trials by talking with your doctor or members of your community who have participated in clinical trials. You can also explore online resources such as syscript.org or clinicaltrials.gov. Change starts with one, and that one could be you.